We're going to be scoring one amazing goal with every World Cup ball ever created from 1930 through to 2022. This is a challenge that's going to require some serious balls, and I think you'll find that mine won't disappoint. There are 22 in total, and I'll be joined by most of the UK YouTube multiverse to score the goals or provide content. <laughs> We'll be starting with the football used in the first ever World Cup in 1930. This ball had already been used at the previous Olympic Games, but presumably only as a shot put. Kids in the 1930s spent their childhood kicking about one of these and risking their metatarsals. Yet Simon tells I me he it. remembers it fondly. I knew it. Knew We're going to be taking shots reason. from inside the D. We have to just keep it simple, score a nice goal, get your chops around this. What do you think about it? it smells like the war. Simon Minter. First kick of the day. Oh, oh, that's a oh my God, he saved that. This. He is taking John's had enough fish. already. Oh. Are you saving that then? Grow up a bit. This ball's got something in it, man. It's got the dog in it. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I didn't like I that. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, that's incredible. Moving on to 1934, when players would wear headgear with this ball to avoid injury. I certainly haven't seen anything that hard since Piers Morgan interviewed Ronaldo. This one feels like football. It's a light skin version. <laughs> so although a heading challenge was tempting, we went with volleys instead. What do you want, lefty? Well, just whatever. Watch this left foot. <laughs> Glory. Oh, yeah. I reckon you could kick Olive better than that. <laughs> oh, he's done if he drops it. Yeah. <gasps> and they carry like, oh they carry like bare God, poles. Oh my God, that is sickening. That's a clip. <laughs> oh, hi, Harry. Sorry. Just stand here, man. I can't do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. By now, the battle is beginning to attract attention. I need Nando's. I need Nando's. <laughs> um, what's the word? Malnourished. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Certainly not malnourished. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any malnourishment there, man. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> On the next ball is a, a Swiss ball, so we've got Swiss Lindor chocolate for everyone for getting to that point in the video. Oh, but no, that's the next ball. Oh no, he made a mistake, tell him. <laughs> I wouldn't have found it. <laughs> Do you want one? <laughs> tuck in, lad, tuck in. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. No. I won't be one of No! We're not even onto the Swiss ball. We tried the blue ones, Chris. They're so good, by the way. The blue ones are outrageous, Chris. <laughs> Give me a better ball. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. oh and then back to you again. Hit it, Tom. Yes! Oh, Next up, this ball was used in the final World Cup before there was a 12-year World Cupless period due to World War II. Luckily, the only cannon being fired today is Harry's left foot. This ball had to be pumped up and sewn by a professional ball pumper. Coincidentally, that's also my LinkedIn job title with a right foot like this bad boy. Don't know why I touched my left there, though. Right, this is the one, by the way. We're done after this. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> Chris, by the way, this might be a violation. <laughs> He's the greatest! The greatest to ever do it! Chris and D will never! Hey, I mean, that was a great start. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. All right. We then jumped to 1950, and the 1938 World Cup ball was the last to have stitching on the outside of the ball. Therefore, this one will be laced with nothing but the usual poorly scripted jokes and Harry's mum getting hit in the face. This one was after the Second World War. So, uh, for this challenge, we're doing a team challenge because it's based on the whole world being, you know, there being a lot of togetherness. Have you introed the ball? Yeah, pretty much. Here's the ball. This challenge will run like so, and three passes are made before someone is set for a shot. Wow! Right, I might as well be one of them yellow fucking. Free kick mannequins, bro. Yeah, they're probably better at shooting. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I can't lie, that was wobbly. Wait, but wait, he's a YouTube all-star, isn't it? That's why. Oh, oh, hey, that's wobbly. Yeah. No, what are you doing to him? Stop. Bro, what are you, what are you doing? doing? Stop, it's meant to be just here, so I can stop Is there me? still a world war going? Because we're still in the trenches here. Heads. <laughs> that boy's head, you know, it's game over. Yeah. Oh yeah, and here he is again. Here he is again. That's 
I do just want to stress these balls are the official World Cup balls. We haven't got any fakes in this video today. These old ones especially, they're handmade by a guy in Hungary because the originals are so rare. Somebody say so rare? The Premier League season may be paused, but as you might have heard, there's a rather sizable international tournament upon us. 22 new footballs later, my business card has taken a bigger hammering than the second fence behind the goal. But one place I won't be spending money this month is the so rare app. So rare is a completely free fantasy football game that runs throughout the regular season across some of the biggest leagues in the world. However, they've created a game especially for the upcoming tournament called the Global Cup. It works like any other fantasy football game where you build a team of players that earn you points in real life, but so rare has one of the most enhanced and engaging scoring systems in fantasy sports. By including harder to track statistics in their scoring systems, such as chances created, interceptions and missed passes, it means that the better your actual football knowledge and judgement of players, the more points you're likely to earn in the game. I think it's safe to say those clowns on the pitch side won't be topping the leaderboards anytime soon. Alvarez will have a better career at City than Holland. Now you pick a squad of eight players, you cannot select more than two players from the same country. I've also created my own league, which you can join with the link in the description below and try to beat me. The prizes in my league alone include two VIP tickets to go and see Liverpool versus Arsenal, an Argentina shirt signed by the entire squad, which includes Lionel Messi, as well as much, much more. Coming in the top 100 places in the overall leaderboard also wins you more incredible signed jerseys and VIP tickets, as well as the chance to play football with Zinedine Zidane. Even if you're getting involved after the tournament has started or you've just had a horrendous start, it's still absolutely worth getting involved because there are incredible prizes to be won every single match day. And Sora has loads more to offer even after the tournament's finished. Remember this is completely free so give it a go, click the link in the description below, join the Global Cup and the Chris MD Mini League and potentially win some amazing prizes. Good luck everyone. 1954 saw the first 18 panel ball which after its release was publicly criticised by Jimmy Savile with strong beliefs that 18 was too big a number. Around this time teams now had to start qualifying for the World Cup. Luckily, there's no vetting process for this, otherwise Ethan wouldn't be here. As this World Cup was held in Switzerland, yeah, yeah, we yeah. have to, no, 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 no. <laughs> Can I go? No, I'm going. With this ball, we had a little volley from the penalty spot, but do not fear we'd sent Harry home at this point. Oh, that was quite one shot. I hate the run. <laughs> <laughs> when you're happy, you run heavy. Ah, oh, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, we take it, we take it, we take it. The official match ball of the 1958 World Cup in Sweden was called Top Star, which coincidentally is my new LinkedIn job title. Now in this challenge, we're going to be recreating Pele's goal against Sweden in the World Cup final. We have secured the services of a local farmer to get a feel for what it was really like to be Pele. Theo treated himself to hip surgery for his 40th birthday, but he still wanted to be involved today, so we'll be taking the role of the Swedish centre-half who Pele flicked the ball over. <laughs> Pelé was actually 17 in this World Cup. Arthur, I feel like you should be quite good at this because you're very used to following the footsteps of teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Shags, kids! Come on! Let's go! Don't think he has the ability for this goal. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nice. And a little flick over the fraud yes. there. And then bang! Oh, oh, God. God. oh there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? I don't know what happened. Oh. You'll never get past me. I'm actually going to record a angle of this that you can use in your video. Yeah, that's a good shout, mate. Good. Uh, Pele is running. Yes, Pele. Pele now! Yes! Yeah! Oh, we are absolutely taking that. Slow down. Off the chest. Perfect control. Let's it bounce. And then into the yes. head it goes. Yes! This is how they do it in the World Cup. Do we have to do this every time? Yeah, go on. 1962 saw a ball made in Chile with this design and loud branding which makes my job today very easy. As you can see the rumours are true, Danny Aarons loves being on crack. 1962, not the first messy crack I've had to clean up today. Shout out to last night's curry. <laughs> Alright John, sorry to do this to you. Oh, does it hurt? Yeah. That is not fun. This shouldn't be long. This ball is horrible. Why do you have such big football boots Danny? Because I've got big feet. But they're like too big for your feet. Speak for yourself mate. What does that even mean? <laughs> this is actually perfect because Danny can't kick this over the fence. <laughs> I don't think that's skill or entertainment, that's just being a clown, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. We take it, we take it, we take it! Yes! yes.
The Slazenger Challenge was the name for the ball that brought football home. It's surprisingly soft, not even the hardest Slazenger Challenge we've seen, which goes to a game on the sticks against the FIFA player. So these balls were shipped out to teams six months before the World Cup, so they had time to familiarise themselves with them. Unfortunately, I'm throwing you lot in at the deep end. Left-footed, Jeff Hurst, who is confident? I can't be anything other than an optimist as a person, as a fan, as a player. Do you share Sir Jeff's optimism? Yeah. <laughs> and here comes Percy, but some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. Too close in. Oh, fucking hell. They think it's all over. Oh, uh, bloody hell. Good cross. Go on, Reeve. They think it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> we have really struggled scoring this goal, so I've brought in Danny and Arthur to finish off the challenge for us. We have the bounce pad, which isn't historically accurate. So easy. <laughs> I'll let you go first, Danny. Shevchenko, who carries the hopes of his country. I like to lead by example. I take so much peace from knowing that the man that designed this ball has probably perished long ago. <laughs> we have had a sub. John is joining us taking kicks because Danny is literally causing this challenge to take longer. How are you still <laughs> slowing down the challenge? <laughs> Adidas took over production of the World Cup balls in 1970 and began by totally revolutionising the stereotype image of a football in the mind of every man, woman or child across the globe. This was the World Cup where you were allowed to use substitutions for the first time. So bear that in mind, Arthur. Oh. Simon Minter is just a phone call away. Theo is going to be recreating the Pele header against Gordon Banks, okay? But it's not going to get saved this time. I'm going to take a good header, and that will be the amazing goal for this challenge. All right, Theo, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> From like a neutral point of view, this doesn't look great. No. We are going to get you out of that shit, and we going to have you walk in the name of God's glory. Rise up! <laughs> Oh, it's, a it's a miracle! <laughs> <laughs> Back to the care room, Doris. He actually does look like my nan in her final few months. Oh, mate. It's Pele! Pele now! What are you doing? Yes! Pele! Is that goal actually done? No. It's Pele! Pele now! Yes, Pele! Oh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that, I guess. Oh, we're doing this. Yes. Chris, I can't lie, that was probably worse than the ones I scored earlier. Shut up. It was decided that this ball would be almost identical to the previous one because you simply can't improve on perfection. That's what I tell people when I skip leg day anyway. Everyone will have seen this one from when Johan Cruyff did his trademark skill over on the wing over there, except for the defender that he did the skill against. Oh, nice. had no clue what was going on, did he? Stupid twat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? It was uh, something to uh, where people laughed about. I'm excited for this. Oh, you know what? Pick it out, John. Oh, you know, I think we take that. Surprise, not only me, but all the world. It was a chop, but like, I don't think Arthur gets another clip like that in his life. We'll give you one. You can be in the video. What? In 1978, Argentina controversially left Maradona out of their World Cup, as at the age of 17, he was deemed to be too young. Moving on to 1978, now this ball was modified five times before reaching its final form, much like Erling Haaland. We have to take a, a shot with a bottle flip and land it, just like this. Oh, and uh, score a good goal at the same time. This ball was named the Tango, but we will be bottle flipping my favourite of all beverages today, which just so happens to coincide with the Pepsi Max takeover of all the ads on my channel. Unfortunately, an actual bottle flip like this only turned out to happen every half an hour or so, so we agreed that any goal with a bottle flip was already an amazing goal. We just need the challenge finished, so we've brought in you two. Plenty of bottle today already. Yes, so take <laughs> the shot, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we looking at the bottle? I think the bottle is the freak. The ball going in is what you need to focus on. I think you're the freak, mate. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm actually world class at second. I got it! 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 I got it
It's the worst goal. <laughs> the trick shot makes up for the goal. On to 1982, and much like the Michael Jackson album that was released this year, this one promises to be a thriller. Subscribe, guys. Now, this ball had to be modified numerous times during games because of its lack of resistance. Didn't We've ask. Had... Wow, was it relevant? Was it needed? We've had a similar problem with John in goal, so we've had to help him today and bring in 10 goalkeepers. 1982, the year I was born. Was it? Yes, I am old. <laughs> so I've got to hit it really hard, haven't I? Oh, oh my! Oh, come on, let's go better than that. Aim for Chris, he's the smallest. Very small man! I was covering the top corner, guys, so... I'll do one sledge. One sledge? Okay, that way, please. Lord Jesus. Toby, this is coming to you. Ah! It's coming for Toby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> right, this is the one. Oh, yes! That's the one, that's the one, mate. That is lovely, yes, that's definitely the one. In 1986, Maradona led Argentina to World Cup glory. He cemented his position as the best player in the world and won the hearts of football fans across the globe. Bit tall for my liking, though. We're moving on to the Azteca, which was the hand of God. In this challenge, we're going to have to handball it, make it look realistic. That's going to be the challenge of scoring an amazing goal. So you've got to con us and the viewers into thinking that it was an actual header. Uh, first up is going to be Harry, who shares some similarities with Maradona. All so, right, I'll give you a test run. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. Wabam. And you've got to... No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a poor clearance. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. They wouldn't have spotted that one. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was discreet. Appealing for offside. And Maradona gives Argentina the lead. That was a header. Yeah. That was a header. Yeah. You headed that, didn't it? That was mad. You headed it, right? No. No? Oh, they tricked us, though. They no. tricked us. The rest of what happened in this year is totally irrelevant because Gary Lineker shat on a football pitch. Thankfully, our ball today has been reproduced and was not actually used during that World Cup. Now, the year before this, the Berlin Wall came down and we have themed this challenge based around a broken wall. Can we break the wall? We don't need to break the wall, actually. All no. you need to do is go through the wall. Go on, Bill! Oh, he's just making I bet he was bricking it. I'm trying to cement myself in this video. Okay. Oh, oh he's decapitated him. Oh. Oh. Stop this mindless violence. Oh my oh. god. Oh my fucking god. Is 21 the amount of side chicks you have, so you remember? probably most famous for being shanked horrifically wide by Diana Ross in the opening ceremony from about four yards out. Something tells me she would fit right in the Chris MD video. Now moving on to 1994, Maradona was supposed to compete in this World Cup, unfortunately failed a last minute drugs test, for the same reason Harry won't be here today. We're gonna be taking scorpion kicks much like Rennie Hagita. That was actually in 1995, but uh, leave a dislike and uh, we'll get back to you. You know the drill, Toby just score one. Bro, look how high it goes. <laughs> oh my day. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tyres on. I'm not, I'm not going to laugh at that one. I'm not laughing at that one. Oh, great connection. It's coming Come now. On, Come on, everyone's in it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on Chris. This is it. Oh. Come on, everyone, get, come it's on, on go Chris. Even the sun's come out through. Go Chris. Bang. Oh, it's three out of three now. Oh, 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 In 1998 saw the arrival of the Blue Tango. I've always preferred the orange flavour myself. This was also the year that the Golden Goal was introduced, and to honour that movement, if we score one decent goal in this challenge, everything ends. Now this challenge is based on one of the greatest free kick takers of all time. He's 49, completely bald, and no, it's not Theo Baker. We're going to be taking Roberto Carlos's free kick against France, and we're going to have to recreate that curve around the wall. Best free kick of all time, this one. Okay, look. Let's do this. Oh! Man. My 
god! Oh my god! If I come back to here, it'd be easier. I don't think we've ever had anyone say in a challenge, could we take this further back? I was gonna play that at my funeral. Ah, oh, don't play that one. Eh? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching royalty. Usually I'd make a joke about looking at his ass, but like the actual football ability is just so good. I'll tell you what, if Manny was doing that scorpion <laughs> yeah. tick. Nice for you when you were doing it, to be fair, Toby. Clearly runs in the family. Your dad must have the beast. Oh my gosh, this is what we're not gonna do. <laughs> Let us know if you, you wanna break Billy and me and Toby can get it real quick. You know I think you're wonderful, but it's not your time. Oh, this is the life. It is, isn't it? You know what's crazy? When I was in school, I used to watch this man. And the 2002 ball was composed of 11 layers and was 3 millimeters thick. And that's spelled with two C's. Just look at it. Gorgeous. Now I had one of these all summer long in 2002 until my uncle booted it over a fence. Thankfully, it wasn't the worst childhood trauma he gave me that summer. We're going to be doing the Ronaldinho free kick recreation today, okay? So we're going to have to produce Ronaldinho from here and John is going to have to produce Seaman. And he runs up really fast. Yeah, well he sort of like catches the keeper up. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, just no. like that. Oh, yeah, we're here for long. Has anyone ever done this first take? <laughs> John, just come this way a little bit more. Oh, lucky. <laughs> oh. Here he is, Ronaldinho! Oh, no. Mate. Ronaldinho! Oh. Ronaldinho! 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 Why have you invited me? Should I just go home? Have you thought about shooting? When this goal was scored, Will? Yes. Where were you watching it? It was in my living room. Were you not at school? No, I was in, I was in, at home. I watched Owen's goal at home. Yeah. And then I saw the Ronaldinho. I, I swear that was. Ronaldinho takes and David Seaman's caught up his line. And Brazil take the lead. Ronaldinho has scored. David Seaman is caught cold. Amazing. The 2006 Team Geese was a work of art, but not the most popular among goalkeepers. Will, however, is going to get on with this ball like a house on fire, with them both having been criticised for being too lightweight countless times. Now, this one was named the Team Geest after the most important component of the World Cup. And if you give it a little whiff, it even smells like team spirit. <laughs> you got the licence for that, don't you? No. The challenge here has been conceived by Torsten Frings' Thunder Bastard in the opening match of the 2006 World Cup. I'm nominating myself first. Oh yes, it's that's set. the set. And it's on my life! Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh, <laughs> what are you doing? If you feel like you've just put YouTube in 0 0.25 speed, it's just Will and E playing football. Have it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, can we take that? Yeah, we that take it! Take. We got the swerve! Yeah! Oh, the, bar. yeah. the bar is on the floor! Team G, <laughs> team one! Yes! Unfortunately, I was outvoted on taking that goal, and after two hours in the rain on just that challenge, there was only one thing to do. Come on, Sai. The 2010 was all about Diego Forlan's weapon of mass destruction as the Jabalani was released on the world. Surely there's not really much I need to say about this ball. Now this ball was actually named in the language of Zulu, Jabalani, which means fuck tons of swaz. I reckon he's got this. <laughs> oh no, he does not. There's the knuckle. Damana mana. Eh eh. Waka waka. Eh eh. Damana mana. This type of Africa. Ah! <laughs> Did that go over both of them? It fucking did as well. Because it's the Jabalani, I feel like we need a really nice goal for it. So that's why we brought in the big dog Simon Minter. Sorry, Ethan Payne. Also, look how happy he was when I told him we could use it. Yeah! Jabalani! Oh, oh! 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 I just touched. <laughs> go stand on the cone, let me score this real quick. You know when Chris says that, he just, he misses everything. Oh! 2014 saw the Brazuka. The surface of this ball was textured with grooves, a technology developed by Adidas called Grip and Groove, a phrase Toby will be familiar with on his nights out. Moving on to the Brazuka, we've had this career across London, but an hour journey for someone, so we're going to have to do him justice and score a James Rodriguez volley. Ball's going to be ball launched into us, chest, no bounce. You try it on the left? Yeah. Oh! 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 
my god! He's not meant to try for oh <laughs> Obviously you haven't seen our keepers before, has he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to follow that. I hit by Hammers! Oh, 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 that is unbelievable! Prior to the Telstar's release, one of these balls was genuinely sent into space by NASA. Now let's watch Danny Aarons try and send another up. Moving on to 2018, we're going to be trying to score Ronaldo's hat-trick clinching free kick against Spain. Ronaldo upset a lot of people recently, upset a lot of teammates, upset a lot of fans. But most importantly, he upset speed when he ghosted him. So we're going to be scoring a nice Ronaldo goal to put a smile back on speed's face. Come on, Arthur, in the number 10s, you 10 out of 10. Don't save it! <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph! Oh, mate. oh that would have been oh. so nice! It's Ronaldo. Oh. 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 You don't know how to react. Come on, give us a sue. <laughs> oh, no. Finally, we come to this year's ball, which loosely translates as the journey. A fitting tribute to the absolute roller coaster this video has been. So, as you've seen so far, my goalkeeper is one of the few men who hasn't been prepared to take a bribe in the build-up to the Qatar World Cup. So, unfortunately, Ooh. we're going to have to actually score a proper penalty here. We're ending on this. This is the last clip right now. Don't care. <laughs> oh, it's Jack Grealish V2. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, damn, Daniel. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, no! Oh, this is a joke. Yes, we can end the video. Yes. Beat the shit out of oh, I don't know. Please, just make it end. Now before we go, I know we've joked about it today, but I do want to touch seriously on the controversy of this World Cup, the human rights issues, the deaths of migrant workers, and the corruption. It's important to bring these issues into light and not allow them to become forgotten in amongst the World Cup fever. Football should be a safe space for all, and it's important that in the future we make it that way. Thanks for watching.